Electro-vlog! That's it. I'm gonna cut the crap out of this thing. Oh, hi. Uh, I uh, was cutting my Tesla tower. You know, uh, the problem is that I can't stand the thought that I didn't test it properly and the glow I got in the vacuum was not representative because I was wasting power. So I'm going to cut the molten head off and try again. Of course it will reduce the inductance of the secondary which will affect the resonance frequency but I'll tune for it. Let's see if I can break it up with a mallet. Nope, too hard. Super arms engage! There we go. Now I just strip the wires, scraping the insulation off of the surface with a knife. Connect the top load toroid to one end. Now hot glue everything into position. As I've mentioned before, you can first use the Slayer Exciter circuit to measure the resonance frequency of your tower. Or you can just simply try to adjust the frequency of the circuit. Ow! Sometimes you just want to test something quickly, but it's never quick, is it? Okay, fixed. Let's try to tune it now. Ouch. Ha! Tower is back in service. It's vacuum time, everyone. Forgot about that one. Try again. It's coming. Maybe not a complete vacuum yet. Oh, not down there again. Damn it. It's trying to melt my tower again. More and more bubble wrap. This should hopefully do it. It won't arc until there is a better vacuum. Oh, there you go. Look at this now. Damn it, it's running away from me. Look at this man, the pressure of the glass splitted my silicone washer in half. And not only that, I saw that the tower was actually arcing from top here to bottom there. <sighs> I think this project is cursed. I probably won't get anything better than those glow balls anyway, so screw it. At least I have my tower back in operation. You know, in those glowing electrical balls they sell out there, they don't create a vacuum. They fill it with noble gases like neon. Those gases have the same effect as vacuum because they are holding their electrons very strongly so they can't create plasma that easily and so the voltage rises and can go further. And another benefit of those gases is that you don't have to create a vacuum. It's the same pressure inside and out. So it's much safer to use. This project is like beating a dead lizard. It's not gonna run. It's much easier if I could fill the glass with noble gases. But we already know the outcome of that one, so forget about it.